Hi everyone, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how a Dynamo script uh, works that's going to strip a project from its views. So quite often when we send a, a model out, a Revit model out to a consultant, we don't really want to give them all the views. So in the project browser here you can see I've got plans, uh, 3D views, elevations, sections, as well as all the drawing sheets and schedules. Now, if it's simply for coordination, there's no uh, requirement or need to have all of this extra detail here because it obviously makes the file size bigger. And also, we might not um, want to actually share some of these drawings and the annotations and documentation that sits alongside the model. So, stripping this um, manually can take quite a long time because obviously we'd have to manually delete all the views, we'd have to delete the schedules, um, drawing sheets, we'd have to go through uh, perhaps and unlink any CAD documents we've got in and so on. So if I go to my kind of manage links dialog box in this particular project, I haven't got anything here, but um, if you did, you'd potentially want to unlink these as well. So what I'm going to show you is a, a script uh, you can run. So I'm just going to use a Dynamo player for this. Okay, so I'll just do a quick search here and I've just called it strip projects of views. Um, I'm obviously running Revit 2018.1 here, and you can see that um, I've just set this up, and I'll show you how I've done this in a minute, but I've set this up here so I can actually decide exactly what I'm going to strip from the project. So I can strip sheets, views, schedules, and also the AutoCAD and CAD imports and links. So I want to strip the whole lot. So as soon as I click play here, have a look at the project browser, and you'll see that um, Revit will strip that out. And you can now see it's been stripped clean, which is very useful. I've also got a report down here just to show me things it um, failed to delete. But that, that's all good. OK, so let's now take a look at the Dynamo script itself. So I can just take you through um, step by step how this works. And then perhaps you, you might want to recreate that Dynamo script. OK, so we just load up Dynamo here. OK, so here we are in Dynamo. So let's just take a look at some of the requirements first before we uh, continue to run the script. So you will need to download the Zebra package, um, Archilab Scrimshaw, which I think is now called Archilab.net, and also the Clockwork packages. So let's just take a, a quick overview of the script. You can see it's not a huge script by any means, and a lot of this is repeated. So what it's doing, um, just here, we're actually getting all the sheets as a category, all elements of category in here. Um, I've just used this logic if statement. Now, there isn't a built-in if statement in Dynamo, but it only gets the shortest list. So, uh, actually, it doesn't work very well in this example. So, um, this logic if is quite good, and this comes from that Zebra package. What it's doing is it's just now saying, well, OK, if this is true, get all the sheets. If false, don't. Now, you'll notice that I've actually named these um, true or false um, uh, inputs here. Um, obviously, you can just type in if you just do a search for BOOL, Boolean, you can put one of those in, and you're just going to double click that and rename it to whatever you, you want. So, delete all sheets uh, for this one. Um, if it's false, you can see I'm just passing in a blank list. Yep, so that's a design script for a blank list there. I'm doing the same for the views, exactly the same again for schedules. And an identical thing here for the uh, CAD links and imports. Now, again, this is a custom package, in this case from the Clockwork package. Um, and once again, it gives me the option of stripping out those uh, files. So then I'm combining all those lists together in here. We're flattening the list in here. Let's just get rid of that. Um, this is now deleting all of those elements. And you can see this is from the Archilab Grimshaw package in there. And then I've got a watch window. Now, because I've renamed it, you can't necessarily see what's going on here, but I've just done a search for watch in there. All I do is I double click that, rename it with the text I want to see in my Dynamo player. OK, and that's really the script. Um, on my blog site, which is www.revitstructureblog.wordpress.com, I have an image of this, so you can obviously um, download that image and blow it up. Unfortunately, I can't host Dynamo scripts on there, so I can't just post this up. But anyway, I'm sure it'll only take you five, six minutes to create, and definitely worth doing if you want to strip the Revit project. OK, I uh, hope that's been useful to you, and see you all soon. Bye-bye.